So one of the pieces of equipment that we use aboard the EnviroLab is our trawl net. The very first part of the net that enters the water is called the trail buoy. It has our blue and white checkered pattern on it, um, unique to Project O, and it's uh, followed by our trail line that's connected to the net. Following the trail line, it's the very first part of our net. This is called the catch bag or the cod end of the net the very tip of our net and it's shaped like a giant cone so the narrowest part is our catch bag. It, the holes in this part of the net are a little bit smaller and this is where all the organisms are going to end up when we pull the net back on board. After the cod end the net starts to get wider right just as a cone would get wider. The holes in the net are a little bit larger. We call this darker part of the net the belly of the net. The opening of our net is called the mouth. The top part of the mouth has floats on it, so we call this part the float line. It's going to hold the net open vertically. Since our net drags along the bottom, these won't float all the way to the surface, but we'll just hold the net open upwards. The bottom part of the mouth has a heavy chain, a tickle chain or a chain line that allow the net to sink to the bottom and this part will bounce along the bottom and hopefully scare some creatures right into our net. The last part of our net are the otter doors. These are the last part to enter the net and they act kind of like cheeks for the mouth of our net. They're going to hold the net open sideways for us so the net is open as wide as it can while it drags along the bottom.